dear brothers and sisters i welcome you all to hear and see this video message today we are going to pray for tribal people forest rights in india reference for this prophecy prayer point from 9th august 2022 times of india and 22 august 2022 hindu english in india 11 crore tribal people enumerated as scheduled tribes st in the census of india 2011 lives in india they constitute 8.6 percentage of india's population the second largest number of tribal people in any country in the world tribal people are concentrated in 809 blocks in india such areas designated as the scheduled areas however the more unexpected finding was that half of india's tribal population nearly 5 and 1/2 crores live outside the scheduled areas as scattered and marginalized minority they are the most powerless the tribals were not allowed to collect wood fruit hunt and practice shifting cultivation in forests this resulted in the loss of livelihood poverty and hunger among the tribals many tribals moved out of the forest to other regions in search of work and to earn a livelihood about 40 percentage of the 60 million people displaced by the development projects in the past few decades in india are tribals the forest rights act 2006 recognize the rights of forest dwelling tribal communities for their survival including habitation livelihood and other socio cultural needs the act was legislated to undo the historical injustice meted out to tribal forest dwelling communities it aimed to provide protection from atrocities with better livelihood support schemes and ensure better forest management with participation of forest dwelling communities tribals protect the 80% of the biodiversity in the forest ecosystem they live in yet forest management policies and administration often neglect their symbiotic relationship with nature their traditional knowledge and major role in conserving and protecting biodiversity tribals are natural protectors of forests but the political parties are not willing to protect the rights of the forest dwellers as nowadays India has been supporting the policy of ease of doing business so to support this agenda the government has been providing the reserved land of the tribal people for individual purpose of corporate corporate industrialization tribal communities and traditional forest dwellers are still fighting for individual and community rights to forest land and resource which the forest rights act recognized about 15 years ago they are even allowed to collect the grass used in brooms beyond a limit though they are entitled to over 40 minor forest products there are many restrictions majority of tribal villagers with huge quantities of forest produce have never heard about the forest rights act in many of the tribal villages where forest 
rights have been given on record the tribal beneficiaries are under the clutches of the village forest committees the tribal village forest committee president is is exploited by forest officials by various means a nexus of local politicians middlemen and government officials has kept the tribals away from welfare schemes tribals in most villages cannot exercise their rights because middlemen in collusion with forest field staff control the economy middlemen lend money to poor families to keep them in debt trap by paying a mere rupees 5000 as loan to each family annually tribals are held in tight grip by this middleman all through their lives tribals who take such loans have to surrender their harvest to the lender round the year presently there is no institutional arrangements and lending mechanism to integrate and line the department schemes with tribal beneficiaries forest field staff issue the transit permits to middlemen to take away large quantities of forest produce but much of that do not get into the books of village forest committees only 5 to 10 percentage of the total sale transaction is shown in the official records hence a mere amount only gets credited to the village forest committee fund the village forest committee president a tribal himself is forced to sign the doctored records submitted before him no tribal is allowed to go out of the forest to sell their products in most regions feudalism and corruption result in exploitation and debt to bondage union ministry of tribal affairs in 2012 gave direction to the forest department to modify forest produce transit rules by foregoing transit permits for tribal people but it has not been done so far mushrooming illegal forest check posts prevent tribal people from selling their produce outside these check posts at best save to force tribals to surrender the produce to select middlemen who enjoy the patronage of the forest field staff the main reason for non implementation of the forest rights act is the illegal gratification of the official dumb enjoys under the guise of the village forest committees the village forest committees is not a statutory body whereas the forest rights committee is a statutory body under central legislation <coughs> collection of harvested forest produce and its sale by village forest committee in the name of bettering livelihood prospects of tribal is illegal and should be stopped at the earliest to render justice to forest dwelling tribals forest rights <coughs> should be grants to the tribals in its true sense their exploitation should end for that the land for which tribals were granted forest rights was converted into revenue villages and empower the gram sabha in tribal areas forest rights committee should be formed in every tribal village bjp lead nda has won 38 out of 48 reserved seats for scheduled tribes across the country of which majority is from forest rich areas so bjp should have the constitutional moral obligation to enforce forest rights act 2006 in india we hope at least in next 22 months modi ji government will do this amen bible talks about tribal forest rights 
in proverbs chapter 22 verse 22 and 23 do not drop the poor because he is poor nor oppress the afflicted in the gate for the lord will bleed their cause and blunder the soul of those who blunder them <coughs> so kindly pray and prophesy in the name of lord jesus christ that forest rights act 2006 should be implemented by all states of india gram sabha forest rights committee should enforce in all tribal villages and all tribal villages in india should converted into revenue villages for the empowerment of tribal communities in india amen